All right, we're looking at the goons clan wars on Himmels against Wallet Warriors. We're gonna watch Lauren's perspective here. Let's make the map a bit bigger. Your comp, okay. Well, it looks like you want to shove seven nineties down their throat. Um, not a terrible idea, I suppose. They're a bit slow, but we can make it work. So right off the bat, this is a, I would say an unorthodox split. I guess we're sending the one chief hill. Oh, we're getting really aggro courtyard. That's generally not what you do with this split. But uh, as they're playing, it looks like they're playing slow. This is going to be really nice to take those aggro positions. Like I said, generally you, you can't do that when a team is playing more aggro uh, but I do think we know that Walt Warriors likes to play this slow so it is gonna work you have good support on the D line sending the two uh, mediums out to E1 I would actually probably make those fast heavies because the fast heavy presence on this map matters a, a lot uh, we still don't know what their hill is doing so sending silent there is pretty good we didn't send them there blind. Um, I would have sent something like a Su-7 send right away, but it, this is going to work fine because you guys worked it out. Now this this push on the two line, this is, this is risky as fuck because they don't have much spotted. And if I were them, I would be absolutely gearing up to re-push 1-2 here and you probably lose that game because you don't have any vision down the 4-5 line really right now. They could almost rotate for free. Now they're going for an 8 line dump. Who is that? Anthan is playing that exactly how he has to. He's going to die every time, but he's probably going to take 3 or 4 with him. Um, I actually would not be committing 4 tanks here. Look, they're low. Sir John should be the only one committing. Lauren should probably be farming that 8 line. You don't need 4 tanks. But see, this is just little nitpicky shit here. So I actually kind of want to keep my eyes focused on the mini-map. Your Chief on Hill, he's kind of playing fine. He's backing off 250 Bs. Honestly, here, Chief on Hill, you can push into these 50 Bs here. Because you're probably going to kill one or get one close. And you're going to take the pressure off of everywhere else. Even if you die, it doesn't really matter. You guys have got them surrounded. They're playing really slow, though. This wasn't bad, but it just wasn't great. Uh, you just literally just played a bit faster than them. They're stuck on the 8 line. They're making a terrible play. You can't just YOLO down the 8 line like they did. Especially if the enemy has 3 line control. Um, they played passive in J2. That's really dumb. So they're playing passive in J2, J1 while trying to take 8 line. And like I said, if they're giving up 1, 2, 3 line control, that 8 line push doesn't work. It also just doesn't work if they stop like they did. If they want any chance to make that work, they have to push all the way through and get into that D line. I'm not sure what they're doing. They're, they, their comp actually isn't good for that though because they've got the mice, right? Or that one mouse, which makes it very difficult for them. They split too much too. Um, they split but in stupid positions, right? So they didn't control G line. They took the hill with two Bs. They pushed 8 line and they tried to hold 1 2. Now, if you're them, just consider this for a second. What are you trying to do? What, so, what is Walt Warriors trying to do? And what counters it? Well, the answer is you're not trying to do much, right? They're, if they're trying to go 8 line, then it's a terrible play. They can't really do much. Like we already discussed, they can't do that. And if they're not and they're trying to do something else, well, they gave up so much of the map. They only took Hill not aggro they're playing incredibly passively on two line and they've given up courtyard so even if they didn't necessarily want to push eight line and just made that call late they still didn't have really many they didn't have options and it's not because we took them away we we, we did take them away kind of but it's mostly because they kind of gave it to us now it's very good that we we took what we gave them it's better than them giving it to us and us not taking so that's good but they they're heavily misplaying Especially with that 1-2 hold, right? What does that give you? Well, well, you're either holding 1-2 strong, getting ready to repush. That's why I said it was dangerous when we took up 1-2 line um, 
and we didn't do any or we we didn't see that four or five line cross because that that could have lost us the game right there um but when they're when they're not doing that what are they doing holding two or three tanks out there nothing the answer is they're just going to get picked and die for free right you either are, are playing one two lines strong or you're holding it with a couple tanks but you're playing mid and you've got three line covered and you're probably taking courtyard and aggressing up eight line late uh himmels is a map where strat is freaking huge and individual play is really big too the problem with this match was they didn't make you guys think they just gave you everything you guys could just drive and win this one which is essentially what you did um it, this this is too easy you're not going to learn anything from games like this okay so yeah we won good job it, it, you, you can't learn much from here so as we as we stop i'm going to pause it real quick taking like i was saying taking these initial courtyard positions a bit early like like i said but maybe we knew that they were playing slow that's that's the gamble we were willing to take we do need to focus though if we're taking courtyard we need to be looking down that four or five line especially if we're not too heavy on one two that's very fucking important we hadn't cleared k which is a bit of a problem right we don't know what's down there and we weren't looking down four or five line. Had we been looking down four or five line, me as a caller, I'm much more amenable to pushing out this one two. But even then, they could be holding tanks in K K line, which is not uncommon, by the way. That does happen, uh, and that could have really, really hampered us. Other than that, everything else was pretty good, though. But like I said, we we gotta watch that one two for the future. Uh, overall. It wasn't bad. I didn't see any huge misplays. I really liked that the 277, and I think it was Anthon actually last time who may have misplayed it there. Obviously learned and played it very, very well in here and got the support, right? I remember last time I did a similar strat, although I was much more aggressive. And I think if you're going to take that courtyard, you'd have to be more aggressive off the bat. But that's that's kind of for Lauren and the callers. Um, but good, good three-line support. We got the 798 hit. Like I said, that's a bit late, but it didn't matter because you already had the vision and he knew he was going to get in there for free. So that was fine. Uh, you can just take it earlier, but we know that. And the great eight-line bleed. You bottled them up. They got stuck. Your seven nine E's here hold. Like I said, if they're going to make that eight-line play, which they shouldn't have, but if they are committing to it, they need to push through and get into this D-line. Um, in which case, your best situation is just full take courtyard, right? And then block them off. But they were never going to win that. As soon as you take the courtyard, you're holding hill. Now, maybe they could have overpushed hill, but even then, your chieftain just leaves. And it's still very hard for them because you just rotate back in time. You had, like, so many tanks on the D-line. So they just don't have options because, like I said, they gave up. They gave up E1. They gave up the three line. You get they let you get a tank here. They gave up courtyard. They didn't play hill strong, which means you keep courtyard for free. You held strong on the eight line. You somehow took the one two, like I said, misplay, but we can go over that again. Um, they gave you the one two, and they they even gave you half of the hill. Like they're playing in here, which is just an absolute death sentence on Himmels. I know a lot of teams like to camp like that, but that you can't do that. You simply can't camp Himmels like that. Anyway, good win, guys. Fifteen to five. Let's go to the next one.